Good morning, guys and gals. I'm Pal, and welcome back to Paladin Plays Okami. Last episode, we got to know all of the villagers of Kamiki Village, and we also got to help them out, which is really, really nice. And we also ended it off by talking to this merchant, who is apparently going through some sort of demonic possession. And after ridding him of that, we found out that we need to help him even more. This boulder is blocking the exit to the village, so the village cannot get any supplies, and also this merchant can't leave to continue his business. So, apparently there's one person in this town that can help. Susano, the great warrior that we had learned of last episode, but we hadn't ever talked to him. So we're going to change that and see exactly who he really is. Now, a couple notes is, if I sound slightly different, that is because I'm going through a little bit of a cold right now. I got back from camp and I had caught a cold at camp. In fact, a lot of people did. So, yeah, I'm recovering from that, but I have to record, like, this is a few days before I'm actually putting it up, so I can't, I can't wait till I'm completely better, but I, I think I've, I'm well enough to, uh, to have the vocal endurance to record, so that's why I'm doing it now. And I think that is it, other than the fact that now the annotations, I mentioned last episode how the annotations weren't going to be up until I got back. Now that I'm back, they're, they are all up, and they're up and about, so, yeah, that that is out of the way, so we can now go talk to Susano. Uh, no, I don't press A to examine, I press C. I'm used to, uh, Xenoblade, because I, I didn't just get back from camp. This is, I think, four days, th no, three days of me being back, so I've been playing Xenoblade Chronicles during those three days, and, uh, oh, oh, it's such a good game. The Great Warrior Susano, in fact, I've probably been playing it too much. Yeah, it's been keeping me from recording, so that's that's kind of not good. Okay, anyway, back to the game. The Great Warrior Susano. Jeez, not even spelled right. Uh, yeah, so... He, he, you can kind of tell that he's not going to be the great warrior that everybody says. I mean, they say he's a little bit a little bit weird. Uh, Isun said that he was t a two-bit, like, no good uh, layabout or something like that last episode. So he he's either a great warrior and people just don't like him, or he actually is all the things that they say. Let's find out for ourselves. All right, in his house, you can barely hear him snore in the background. So he is in here somewhere, but uh, we don't see him. So let's go ahead and power slash some stuff. Man, I, I love that feature. I really do. Doing the uh, the Z button to power slash that is so incredibly good and you can actually if you play on the Wii version you can thank uh, ready at dawn studios the people in charge of making the Wii port for doing that because that was not in the PS2 I don't think it was in the PS3 versions of the game so yeah you can thank them for that so beneath this banner you have a there's a picture of Kushi it seems I wonder if this guy actually trains at all Huh, so it seems like he's harboring a secret crush for Kushi. Either that, or he just thinks that she is his savior because she makes all the, the sake. I, I guess if, if I loved sake, which I've never tried it, then I might think that she was, like, the best person in the world, too. I don't know. Well, again, it is a woman who makes alcohol, so I guess you can't really go wrong with that. Okay, let Oh, snap. Uh, no, I don't want to do this. Don't want to do this. Okay, good. Okay. I wanted to examine this and not power slash it, so let's examine it. Hey, is it just me, or can you hear snoring from underneath this jug? Okay, that is our cue to ram it or power slash it. Either one works. And underneath is a passageway down into a basement. Let's jump down. And here is Susano. Zzz, I... Am the greatest, and he has more to say. Zzz. Oh, Kushi, let's mur 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 mur. let's wake this guy up. I agree. This is extremely awkward. Let's go and wake him up. Tackle. Whoa! What the? Huh? Ah, oh, I feel so well rested. I planned to meditate underground, but fell fast asleep. Huh? Who are you? 
And what business do you have with Susano, the greatest warrior ever? The great warrior, Susano. And you know he's the main character because I gave him one of those. Also, he coughs. Do even the beasts know of my great exploits now? Well, Fido, I'm not looking for apprentices. Go back to the mountains and play with your monkey friends. That's very rude. How dare a mangy mutt like you interrupt my meditation. Get a load of this guy. All brawn and no brains. Quit messing around and come with us. Hmm? You snuck in here again. Quit bugging me, you, you, bug. I told you, don't call me a bug. Come on, Ami. We're taking him with us. What do you think you're doing? Put me down this instant. What will the neighbors think? <laughs> uh, Susano. Uh, he is one of my favorite characters in this game. For good reason. Just, okay, first of all, starting off, you can see he's scared to death. He's, n he's like, basically, he has a great lineage, but he is not great. So he is just this guy stuck trying to keep up appearances. When really, he's not into it at all. And look at that, he's wearing purple. He's wearing a purple jumpsuit. He has a wooden sword with a leaf still growing on it. And he has amazing hair. And also, when you run around, he flails his arms like a, like some sort of a Wind Waker hack. You can make Link do that. And when you spin around, it's it's just hilarious. I love this guy. He's he's just a barrel of laughs, and you, you can't help but love him a little bit. Let's jump up. And let's see if examining this in his presence does anything. Hey, that's a picture of Kushi. Is Pops really training or what? Uh, I guess not. Okay. So let's go and power slash these things. Get more money and food. Uh, no food, but a lot of money. And I guess it's, it's really simple. We just have to uh, wolf nap him and run him over here. You mangy mutt. You brought me all the way out here just to test yourself against me? Then prepare to taste the wrath of my trusty blade. Tohen Boku. H hold a minute. I'm not doing Vegeta for him since my voice is still a little bit uh tired. And I cannot do Vegeta without coughing a ton. So I'm just going to be doing my norm normal voice for him. You're the legendary Susano? Yep. None other than Susano, the greatest warrior who ever lived. And by the way, never interrupt warriors engaged in battle. But I've got a favor to ask you. This huge boulder bl is blocking the path, and it's really getting in my way. Can't you do something about it? What? Come on, please. I mean, you are Nagi's descendant, aren't you? Surely one stone's no match for your mighty skills, right? Hmm. It's certainly not beyond my capabilities. Really? Great! Okay then, no time like the present. Go for it! Wait! A boulder of this size is not very easy even for me. This will require my utmost focus to magnify the power of my sword. I shall retire to the training grounds to make preparations. Wait for my return. And just like that, he runs away. Hmm, I wonder. I've never seen the guy train seriously, ever. Okay, so I guess we have to see this, because if no one's ever seen him train, that mean, must mean he must carry his training on secret, secret, right? Or he could be laying in his supposed training grounds, drinking sake. I know I told that merchant I could help, but a boulder of that size, I don't care if I am the legendary, uh, ugh, I don't care if I am of a legendary bloodline, it's just too big. Hmm? Oh no, I can't believe I've run out of sake at a time like this. This won't do one bit. That's it for today. I'll just have to train tomorrow. Okay. I can't train without sake to fuel the fire. Training will just have to wait till tomorrow. Why do today what can be put off tomorrow? That's doing things the Susano way. Ha 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 ha. Sake, hmm? Oh yeah, the village has a sake brewing girl, doesn't it? And that's it. That's that's all we get to know because we we met Kushi earlier, so we know her as the sake brewing girl, also as the nice woman who pets us. As you can see here, she loves to pet us every time we see her. 
Not just the first time we meet. She's she's a good person. Let's talk to her. Oh, hello there. I've got a bit of a problem, you know. I have to, I have to polish rice in the mill house before I can use it. But the mill's broken. A wicked monster broke, in, broke it the other day. It's hopeless trying to make good sake without clean rice. Wow, that's too bad. I should never have let that monster try my new thunder brew. A broken mill and flat, flattened crops. That's all the thanks I get. Don't kill giving monsters sake. They're bad enough sober. Sheesh, what was she thinking? Anyway, I guess this is just a matter of fixing something that's broken. Sounds like something you could handle with your brush, Ami. So, let's go and do that. This water wheel has been, uh, well, not taunting us, but it's been here being broken for a long time, so I suppose we should fix it. Now, I should go into something that I'm hoping will work. It hasn't worked in the past, but I would like to explain it, and that is another thing of the brush mechanics that I did not explain, and that is when you stand really far away from your Wii, uh, your Wii sensor bar and you draw, you'll get like a, a very... A fairly thin line. I'm standing as far as I can away from the uh, the sensor bar. You can see actually the brush is glitching out a little bit. And you can see that the line I draw is really, really thin. However, if I were to stand close, let's move up like so. If I were to stand close, <clears throat> sorry about that, and sorry about the cut there, I just had to cough. Still have a cold, my apologies. So if you stand close to the Wii sensor bar and press A, you will draw a really big line, very thick. And you should be able to rejuvenate or not. Uh, let me try that again. If you stand really close and it's not working, please work. Whenever I try to explain something, it does not work. This should, this should be a good angle. Okay, so I stand really close and I press A. Uh, what? Uh, this is kind of, uh, not embarrassing, but it's a little bit awkward, because this should be working exactly as I am saying it, and it's not. Okay, let's try it again. Okay? Am I missing a cue here? Certainly not. Like, they said I need to rejuvenate it, right? So, there we go. Okay, so if you are standing really close to the sensor bar, you'll draw really thick lines. So if you're trying to rejuvenate something that is very big... For example, the uh, the River of the Heavens, you can do it by standing really close to the TV and actually use less ink to draw a bigger splot. Yes, splot. That is a word, I think. I'm thinking splat, but whatever. So you can cover things really easily by standing closer. That's very, very good. It's very clever. I don't think any other Wii games do that with the pointer. So thanks for Ready at Dawn for doing that as well. What's this? The mill's been mended. Who on earth did that? Did that? I'd completely given up on the idea of making my sake. But now I can get on with polishing the rice. Well, no time like the present. I better get started. And without the way, we don't actually get praise. Though I would kind of expect it. Because everything else that we've done to help villagers have gi has given us praise. But we don't get it here. I don't quite get it. I mean, it's not that it's required that is the reason why we're not getting praise. It's because, you know, it, it we should be getting praise for this. It just doesn't make sense. We, we did something required at the end of last episode. We got 30 praise, but I feel robbed. So, yeah. The also, very interesting thing I need to I need to note. This has nothing to do with the game, real, really. But every time I record this, for some reason, I feel the, this very strong urge to stand up while I'm recording. For example, I'm standing up right now while I'm talking. I don't know if it's like a... Maybe because this is a Japanese game or something, and whenever I watch Smash tournaments, Japanese players usually sit up, sit on the ground like without a chair or they stand up. I, I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't I don't get it. Why, why am I doing this? I should probably sit down, but I'm not going to. And now that we're inside, we can talk to her. But first, we have I have something to address, and that is food! You consumed rice balls. Balls of rice wrapped in seaweed. Fills astral pouch a little bit. And we have a lot of food! Also, that, that all went to waste, because we had all, we already had a full astral pouch. So, well, uh, the, 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 that's sad. Also, if you go out on this balcony, all she's petting us on the balcony. 
Wait, can we can we talk to her on the balcony? Please say yes. That'd be really cool. Please let me talk to you. Let me aw. I, I want to talk to her on the balcony, but anyway, what do you do is you get this really cool view of the outside with the water wheel and the water going through the water wheel. It's very interesting. I don't know why they chose to do this, and you can't actually go outside from here. I don't think you can enter this building from here either. But it's it's interesting touch. I, I kinda like it. I my me thinks it's so you can kind of get your bearing on what exactly this is attached to, maybe. So you, maybe it's the designer's way of saying, hey, this is how we we make sake, at least how we used to make sake. Maybe we get to show you some of our heritage. That's, I guess, I guess that's a very valid re reason. That's part of the reason why this game has such charm for me, because this really almost seems like a little bit of an educational experience, because we're constantly, I'm constantly learning new things about Japanese culture or old Japanese culture, which is very nice. I love this game for that. It's not just the gameplay, it's the setting. Anyway, uh, Kushi's talking to us, so I'll stop ignoring her. You're interested in how to prove sake, are you, Snowy? Well, this, thing's he this thing here is for polishing the rice, you see. Oh, I'll tell you what, I've got something I think you'll like. Haha, <laughs> it's just some leftover stock from the store. But I made it myself. It's called the Vista of the Gods. Oh, but are you even old enough to drink, Snowy? And just like that, she gives us alcohol. More importantly, it's Vista of the Gods. That's a very interesting name. I love that name. It's just descriptive. I I'm sorry. Me being a week away from this game, when I come back, it just makes me see it with all new perspective. It's just ugh, it's so good. Brewing sake is my whole life, you know. One day I'll produce sake that'll be re remembered in legend forever. I hope you do. So, with our sake in mouth, which also Ami's probably breathing in the fumes, so Ami's probably getting a little bit drunk, so we should, we should hurry before the screen starts being wobbly, like in, uh, in Minecraft custom maps. You guys probably weren't thinking, wouldn't expect me to go for that when I'm thinking of being drunk in a game, but yeah, that's what I go to. Hmm? Hold it right there, Fido. That smell, is that Kushi's famous homebrewed sake? You offered Vista of the Gods. F Fido, my friend, did you bring me some of Kushi's sake? That was horribly pronounced. Oh, what a glorious day. Ah, good old sake. A man without his drink is like a warrior without his trusty sword. In fact, it is said that Nagi himself relied on the power of sake in his battle with the dreaded Orochi. It's all clear now. Let the training begin. And with that, the most epic music plays. Music that I know I will be using in the end slate of this video. Also, that is an interesting shot of his leg. Also, if... Actually. Oh, man. Oh, man. Wait, 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 wait. Thumbnail. <laughs> okay. I'll just try a bit of my usual routine. Okay, here I come. Well, he seems all talk, but he can certainly th throw that sword around. I mean, look at those tricks. Do you see, see that? He spun it all around his back. And with this, we actually have to help him because he's so weak. You'll see here that he'll hit it, but it won't actually break. He's so weak, he can't even take these things out. So what we have to do is we have to boost his self-esteem and power slash these for him like this he's not he's not powerful enough to do this so we have to help him feast your eyes on this susano style exploding implosion and power slash huh hiya I think it wasn't a good idea to give him that sake. Susano style exploding implosion and power slash. Now very interesting is the fact that we were not able to do that on our own. We actually his sword enhanced our capabilities, or rather, we enhanced his. We could not do that on our own, neither could he. So he does, in fact, have some power. The, that, that's amazing! 
You sliced that huge rock clean in half. You really are something. Wow, I didn't think you could do it, Pops. Me either. Er, I mean, of course I could. After all, I am Susano, the greatest warrior ever. You weren't just showing off your stu- uh, showing off when you said you're Nagi's descendant. Someone like you'd have no trouble to fighting monsters off, huh? Slow speak, I can't keep up. Oh, and I like he's how he's sweating. <laughs> That's so funny. Well, anyway, thanks a lot. Now I can start doing business again. Did you say m mo monsters Oh, uh, of course. No problem. This is a job for the most skilled warrior in all of Nippon. Yes, I shall rid these lands of their vile presence. Just sit back and watch the great Susana work his magic. Ha 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 ha. Fine. Oh wait, just wait. He shouldn't get all puffed up. He's nothing without us. Think he'll be okay? The monsters outside the village are nasty. Ah, uh, glorious Amaterasu. What a pleasure to witness your heroic deeds. I am in awe. When you cleave the boulder in two, my heart skipped a beat. To see your skills with the brush is to be witness to great art. Yeah? So we did. do we get a reward or something, lady? I hardly think your participation had any impact, little bug. It's Isun! 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 Stop calling me a bug! I'll crawl back into your kimono if you say that again. My word! I'll relax, lady. Furball's here, Furball here is more comfy anyways. Let's get back to that reward thing you were mentioning. Come on, Ami. Put your paw up and do something. Go on, shake. Uh, I, I misread that. But still, same effect. Uh, that was not the effect that uh, Isun wanted. Uh, I must apologize. I would like to reward you, but I'm afraid I haven't the power. I can barely muster enough strength to make a flower bloom. Though my body stands firmly here within the confines of the village, my roots sped, spread far and wide, protecting remote areas outside. These parts of me are known as guardian saplings. They collect the praise and adoration that gives me strength. The recent evil is eroding the guardian saplings. If this continues, I will wilt away as well, and my power will vanish. Worse yet, the dark power grows strong with each passing day. Life as we know it will be consumed utterly in no time. Oh man, this is getting heavy. Great and powerful Matarasu, could I be so bold as to request your assistance in, reju in rejuvenating these guardian saplings by lifting the curse that enslaves them? I shall mark the locations of nearby saplings on your map. I have grown tired. I haven't even the strength to speak now. I am Buzz Buzz. I'm dying. If you want me to repeat everything I've said before, no, if you never, ever, never, do not ever, never want me to repeat it, say no. <laughs> that, that's what it is. That's really what this is. It's Buzz Buzz. This, this whole game is just a parody to, of Earthbound. I hope that my request has not fallen on deaf ears. Amaterasu, may the fresh scent of flowers protect you always. Bah. I'm always itching for a good fight, but I sure don't want to poke my nose into this mess. Still, I'm stuck with Furball here till I get all the brush skills. Anyways, Ami. Uh, anyway, Ami's a god and all. So what could possibly go wrong? Hey, did you listen to her? Furball. 
you get the rest of the brush techniques to save the world, and I'll steal and learn th learn them. Yeah, that's the ticket. Anyway, at any rate, let's start by following those marks on the map. I guess that's a start, and Ami doesn't even uh, acknowledge that uh, Isun is out to steal the techniques. She just accepts it and is like, well, I could use his help anyway. And actually, it's becoming nighttime, so let me fix that. But what I was going to say when, uh, uh, when Susano ran off is, What will happen to the brave warrior? Will he meet his end? Or will he overcome all odds and defeat the monsters? Find out next time in Dragon Ball Z! <coughs> <coughs> Yeah. That didn't work. That did not work at all. I, I cannot do, do voices anymore. I think my voice has been destroyed forever. Okay then. I guess I better offload some stock before heading back. Feel free to take a look if you've been sent to do the shopping, pup. Do some shopping? Yes, but after I take a, a quick break so I can cough because I still have a cold and it's almost over but still I need to cough and I'm trying to hold it back but I can't just let me cut please <clears throat> Ugh, that is that's better I just had to cough Ugh. pardon me guys but really oh coughing man coughing I actually well I always oh, do this we can go ahead and sell and um we can't sell any of our like tools but we can actually sell our uh, treasures so that's that's really nice uh and you, you don't don't bother saving these because like they do nothing so I'm just gonna you can you can do this and like say I want to sell two but really the best way to do this is mash a seriously just mash it and you'll buy and you'll sell everything there you go nice but what I was going to say and I'm gonna go and buy I'm going to buy uh, three of every feed bag but fish I'll explain in a second why I'm not getting fish actually five yeah five uh, one thing I was going to say is I actually like colds yeah, I, that's... I know, it's really strange, but I don't like colds like the the duration of them, where, like, if you drink water, it tastes... it's it's disgusting when you when you swallow it. But I like the tail end of colds, because for some reason, it just... I don't know, it makes me feel cozy. I don't know. It, it's a strange thing to like, strange thing to talk about in a video, but I, I just want to address that so you guys don't think I'm miserable or something. I actually enjoy this. Uh... <laughs> So, uh, I'm getting all the feed bags but fish. The reason why I'm doing that is, you can see the description, it says, like, seeds, that, uh, that seed-loving animals can't resist, you know, and this one says, popular among her herbivorous animals or carnivorous animals, but this one, where it says, irresistible to animals who dine on fish. Funny thing about that, there are pretty much no animals that dine on fish in this area of the game. So it's really worthless to buy these at all. Like, you don't you don't buy these till later in the game. You just don't need them at all. They just fill up inventory space. Although you do have infinite inventory space, but yeah, it's just not. Uh, just in case I'm wrong, I think I'll just buy two. It's only a thousand yen, so I'll buy I'll buy two. And just in case I'm wrong about this, but I am ninety percent sure that you do not need fi fish feed bags for like probably seventy percent of the game. The first 70% of the game, you do not need them. So, if you guys are low on money because you guys didn't do all the battles, perform well in battles, or you you didn't get all the treasures I did, why on earth didn't you? They're they're right there. But if you didn't do those things, or you you really want to save on money for later in the game, don't buy fish. I don't think you need them. Uh, vengeance slip. This is actually extremely useful later in the game. This grants you temporary invincibility, which is extremely good for enemies who combo. Yes, those exist. For enemies who combo, or if you're just being overwhelmed, or if you fi have to fight, like, gauntlets of enemies, which you do in certain parts of this game. So they're good for that. I wouldn't... I just wouldn't buy them yet. You're not going to need them this early on, and really, there's... If, if you're failing that hard where you need temporary invincibility this early in the game, you should really just practice... It sounds a little bit mean to me, but you really should, because you should not be buying these for early battles. Just don't. Exorcism Slip. Uh, you can see that it's an Exorcism Slip S, and there are three levels of things that have S like that, or M or L, and those are small, medium, and large. And 
that's pretty self-explanatory. They vary in prices. I'm not going to get one of these, but they're actually pretty useful. It just, I can come by them normally sometimes, so I'm just not going to get them. Uh, and what they do is they will damage all enemies in a battle arena. That's very useful. If you, ha if you have something like a Jughead, that guy that we talked to very early on, like episode... Actually, it was last episode. What am I talking about? If you have one of those, where, like last episode, where you have to defeat a, a couple enemies very quickly, just grab one of these and just defeat them all with one item. That's a really good idea. So, yeah, save these until you need them. Uh, steel, f steel Fist Sake. That will temporarily increase your p t attack power. Very useful. I normally don't like temporary stat increase items in games, but these I actually have to condone. There are places in the game that these are extremely useful. So, yeah, if you have spare cash, pick one of these up. Also, Steel Soul Sake. Does the same thing as the fist, except it increases your defense. This is also extremely useful. I highly recommend getting this. This is also cheaper than the Steel Fist, although I really recommend Steel Fist over Steel Soul just because you're going to be getting through battles quicker, and since it really this game's goal is to not get hit, like that's how the battle system works. If you get hit, you lose time and you also lose damage ratings, so really Steel Fist is the best way to go. But if you're doing gauntlets, once again, if you don't want to burn through Revengeance Slips, you get Steel Soul Sake and you are good to go. Uh, next off is Holy Bone S. I've explained this before, they're basically the hearts of this game, except, well, they're like the, uh, the potions of this game, rather. And as you can see, it's an S item, so there is a small, medium, and large version of this. And I'm actually going to buy some of these. I'm going to buy enough so I have five. Uh, so I'll buy it four, and now I have five. There we go. And I'm going to buy... let's see... Since I'm so low on, uh, on health, like, I only have three units of solar energy right now, I'm going to actually buy Steel Soul, and I recommend that you do as well, because while you can get battles over quickly with Steel Fist, early in the game, if you get hit once by a powerful enemy, that may be over if you get, keep getting hit. So I actually suggest that you get a Steel Soul until you're fairly good at the game. Then you should move on over to the Steel Fist, and also it's more expensive and you'll have more money later on. So start with Steel Soul. I'm going to buy two. And I think our inventory looks very good now. Now the video is... Uh, I, I want to say it's over just because it's it's running pretty high on time. It's like 30 some minutes. 37 my timer says. But since this is still the beginning of the game and it is still, you know, it's it's still a place where I want to finish out this village because obviously a new area has opened up to us. We actually have nothing left to do in Kamiki for now. So I do want to go into that area, but next episode. But for now, I want to do something that we haven't been able to do because we haven't had access to the shops. And that is feed the animals in these areas. We can get spare praise and make ourselves hopefully a little bit more powerful. So let's go and do that. Uh, now, I'm, going to, I'm not going to speed this up, though in future areas I will. Just throwing out that out there, I'm not having a guide for animals. I, d I honestly don't know where they all are, but in future episodes where I'm going to feed all the animals, I'm going to speed that up. But for now, I just want to do it like this because I want to show you guys what feed bags you use. So, for bunnies, we're going to use herbs. And go ahead and skip this. And we will get, let's say, seven preys. Six, okay. So, six preys, we now have 30. Very nice. And let's continue on. In fact, uh, I don't want to cut, but at the same time, I really want to cut. I really, really want to cut. Although, I can only think of one other area that uh, there are th animals that we can feed. So, I'm just going to go over there, and this is... We have very small ground to cover, so, okay, there are birds. Let's go and feed them seeds. And if you want to go through the game and you don't want to, quote-unquote, waste money on feed bags, uh, uh, reconsider that, because while I'm only getting, like, seven and six... Uh, seven and... Uh, 
three preys or six and three preys right now. Later in the game, if you feed animals, you can get upwards of like 30 preys. I think sometimes 50, I think. So it's really worthwhile to use feed bags to your advantage. Just like Isun said, it leads to big, big rewards. So, uh, oh, we can feed these, we can feed these, okay. Now, in between episodes, after I'm done feeding all of these, I will reset all of my feed bags back to five. I don't mean reset as in, like, go back to a previous save. I mean buy more feed bags to bring my inventory back to five. And I will only be really showing uh, me purchasing things in, in shops if it's something new. Like, if the shop has something new, I will show it, definitely. But if... Uh, if it doesn't, if it just has old stuff, I will cut out me buying stuff and I will just tell you what I got. So, yeah, I just wanna, I just wanna lay down the rules that I'm laying down for myself and for this LP, so that you guys don't get too bored. Also, wait, 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 wait. Examine. I saw this in, uh, in post of episode three, and I want to know what this is. This monument is a landmark for travelers in the area. Many, uh, many once came to see the sacred tree and so and Shirinui statue. Can I do this? This is the same thing. Okay. Well, that's that's interesting. I didn't know that w that existed. That's very interesting. Okay. So I'm kind of glad that I'm going through here, running through Kamiki Village one more time. Oh, well. Wait. What? What? Do you guys see that? There are people right there. Whoa! Oh! Oh, I didn't know this! Well, okay, I, I haven't been, I've just been making guttural noises, which is really creepy. That's neat! Okay, when you go around this gate and go right here, everything's normal. In fact, you can see the, uh, the statue of Nagi right there. I don't think you can enter. Good. Okay. And we can examine it? The statue of Nagi was erected to protect the village, you see. It's located even deeper than Shirinui's statue. They must really revere him. But still, wasn't there an even bigger statue of him around here? That is neat! Okay, so when you come up here around this gate, it does this. But when you come up through the gate, it's a portal into, like, I have no idea what. Like, an, ethere an ethereal area. Wow. So, oh, that's neat. Oh, I did not know that. Okay. Well, that's really, really sweet. Okay. Let's talk to, let's talk to these people. Wow, a white wolf? I thought the statue of Shirinui had disappeared, but you look just like it. It didn't come back, come to life, didn't it? Did it? Hey sis, this dog's got something weird on its back. Oh, so she can, the gr little girl can see the divine instrument on her back. So the little girl apparently believes in the Japanese deities more than most people, especially this woman here, which is her older sister, by the way. What? Stop being silly. That's how rumors start. Okay, let's talk to him again. After that nonsense about seeing a door of light here before... Oh, I, I, I read that wrong. Oh, no, she, no, she... Okay, I did. But I did, I did see it! Right inside this shrine, there was a door of light! Oh! So, this little girl can apparently see things that other people can't, because she has more beliefs in them. Let's talk to the woman. I don't see any door of light. But it was there! Inside this this shrine, I saw it. <laughs> okay, okay, that that's it apparently. Okay, well that's interesting. Uh, I I didn't know that they were up here. Okay, and we've never met these people, so I I want to just remember these names. It's Camellia, or Camellia. I'm gonna call her Camellia, and Camille. Okay, so pretty much the same name. Okay, that's that's interesting. Okay, well. That is actually going to be it for this episode, I think. Uh, thank you guys. Uh, well, next episode, we're going to be leaving Kamiki Village, finally, as some of you guys breathe, breathe a sigh of relief. And we're going to be going into the lands beyond, hopefully chasing after Susano to make sure he doesn't kill himself. Because he was a little bit drunk when he left, and... I think he's uh, he's a little bit braver than he should be. So we're going to be seeing if he's alright and exploring a brand new area for the first time in the four or five episodes. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I release new episodes of Okami, uh, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Saturdays are long episodes. This episode was especially long, but that's just because this is really the last quote-unquote prologue episode that I like to call them. 
uh, of the series, I think. You know, from here on out, it's mostly us. Like, it's just us playing the game. It isn't any tutorials. It isn't introducing us to every every living thing. It's us finding our own way in Okami. So, next episode will not be as long as this one is. I apologize once again for the long episode, but I feel like it was necessary. Now, with that out of the way, next episode will not be that long. It'll be normal time, 25 minutes. Yeah. That's what this episode was supposed to be. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time for another Pal Plays Okami. Hope you guys really enjoyed it, because I do. This game's so good. It's also fantastic to be back. I'm just gonna end it now.